Having a closer look at how the Homeland Security Enterprise and First Responders Group operates in s and will be valuable. I also want to welcome all of our witnesses, especially my fellow New Yorker, Chief Ed Kilduff. Thank you for taking the time from your responsibilities to come to Washington today. Over the years, many of our successes have come from our ability to forge practical solutions from tough challenges. And this committee has been supportive of the s and Directorate in becoming better prepared to make such contributions for first responders. This progress is due to the hard work of s and people, our better understanding of the precise problems, and to the increasing capacity to make use of innovation from our laboratories, universities, and the private sectors. The s and Directorate has found it challenging to craft an overall strategy for first responder needs. It has also lacked the mechanisms necessary to assess past performance. Over the past few years, GAO and OIG reports have suggested that the department had not yet developed a transparent risk-based methodology to determine what first responder projects to fund, how much to fund, and how to evaluate the project's effectiveness and usefulness. Without clear defined matrix, Congress cannot gauge project goals and evaluate funding. I'm eager to hear of the strides that the first responder group may have made in evaluating first responder needs, developing new and readapting existing technology, creating standards and prioritizing how first responder R&D moves forward. What we do here in Washington affects how firefighters, police, EMS technicians, border and maritime security, doctors and nurses protect Americans every day, especially in times of disaster. One key issue in translating what works at the local level is finding a way to communicate success so each jurisdiction doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. Local first responders must feel more empowered to develop strategic initiatives for themselves. They recognize the importance of interoperability and the collaboration across jurisdictional boundaries. They know that crises do not stop at city and county lines. In the end, Congress needs to know how current first responder technology investments position s and for the future. We must have a clear view of how first responder projects are aligned at, with customer requirements and how projects are prioritized and evaluated. We've been told by Undersecretary O2 that decreases in s and budgets, excuse me, s and budget will wipe out dozens of programs, stalling the development of technologies for border protection, detection of biohazards, cargo screening, and leaving in doubt research and IED detection. Striving to do more with less is always the symbol of an efficiently running program of any type. But trying to protect our citizens and nation with programs that are backed by limited and dwindling science and technology assets is another matter. There are serious concerns about what programs the directorate will have to give up as a result of the budget voted by the majority. I look forward to hearing from Director Griffin on how he will prioritize the projects in a reduced Homeland Security enterprise and first responder group operation. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you.